uh, today I'm going to go over uh, a problem that you might run into with regard to RV refrigerators. I'm in a Durango 2022 and I have a Norcold uh, 1210T and uh, the problem I want to go over is when you have no power coming to this optical display board. Uh, specifically when you turn the on and off button in my case when I press it the light does come on you know it's setting itself and there'll be an indicator light uh, just a dot that shows that there is power coming to the refrigerator and there it is but if if I shut this off if you come to press this on and off button and no indicator light comes up that's a problem that means you're not getting power to this display and so you can't control the refrigerator. It won't, it won't actually, it won't operate. Uh, so we're going to look into that problem uh, today. Specifically, we're going to look into the steps that are necessary uh, for diagnosing the power control board uh, that's on this refrigerator. Um, I should note that there are two different uh, control boards on these refrigerators. One is the optical uh, control board that's beneath this display. It's on the back side of this display. It's just a little control board, like a green board, um, that is about the size of my finger. It's behind this display. The other one is the power control board. That is behind the refrigerator. I'll take you out to see that shortly. But that's the one we're going to be testing uh, to see why power is not getting to this display. Uh, power from the, the 12 volt uh, power supply travels through the power control board for this refrigerator on its way to uh, to this display. So if the power control board behind this refrigerator is not working, like if power is not working inside of that power control board, uh, then it could that could be the problem uh, why you're not seeing uh, the indicator light come on when you press the on off button and why you're not getting your refrigerator to operate. So two boards, one we're going to look at today, it's the power control board. We're going to sh show you the steps using a multimeter um, on how you diagnose if your power control board is functioning properly. So my first step in um, diagnosing uh, this problem, because my refrigerator works, I just need to shut power down to this refrigerator and I'm going to shut off power um, to the RV as well so that I can disconnect uh, the cover to the power control board. So power off. Back side of the refrigerator. Uh, first step is to uh, get at the power control board and there's a cover over it. So I'm going to disconnect some wires that I'll show you what which ones I disconnect and how. So I want to give you a close up of the cap screws. I'm going to be removing this cap screw uh, on the bottom right corner and this one up here in the top left. Uh, those are for the, to take the cover off. The screw on the top right and the lower left hand corner um, secure the power control board. And then I'm going to disconnect this heat sensor that goes to the flue. Uh, above the burner and I'm going to take off uh, these two uh, 12 volt DC power connectors and I'm going to unplug uh, the 120 uh, volt AC power. Uh, these cords run through uh, the, the front of the cover so I have to take them off. Okay so I'm going to disconnect the 120 volt AC. There's a connector up here. Disconnect that. I'm going to disconnect this one over here as well. There's that. There's the 120 volt connection to the board. Okay, so I have the sensor, the heat sensor pulled off. There's the two positive. And there's the negative. Take off the screws. Okay, so now the cover is completely off and I have access to the board. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the fuse so I can check continuity on the fuse, uh, the five amp fuse. 
This is basically coming up from the uh, 12 volt DC power supply and it protects the board for surges in the DC power. Now I don't have any power on to the board. Um, 12 volt, no power, neither AC. Uh, I prefer, I like to take the, the uh, fuses out because reconnecting them, if you don't have power to the board, they won't arc when you put them back in. So I'm gonna take this uh, fuse out. Here's the fuse. I'm gonna check this fuse by checking the continuity of my multimeter and I'm going to set it to continuity. Some people do it with ohms. I prefer the uh, the audio alarm for that signals if there's continuity. And here's my five amp fuse. If I get a beep, then I have continuity and the fuse is working correctly. It's still a good fuse. And I do. Okay, so I can put my fuse back in. And notice there's no arcing because there's no power to the, uh, to the board. Now I can turn the power back to the board. And uh, this fuse over here, by the way, this glass fuse is the AC power um, fuse. Um, it's a glass fuse and it's a glass fuse right here. And I don't need to check that because everything that I'm dealing with right now uh, regarding the optical control display has to do with DC voltage, not AC. So I'm not gonna even test that fuse. Okay, so we're ready to start taking some measurements to see uh, if we have the power we need here at this power control board. Um, just as a side note, I do have a static discharge bracelet in case I have any static on my body. It'll discharge to ground. I have it connected to a ground connector. So the first measurement I'm going to take is where the power comes in, the 12 volt comes into the power board. Take my red or positive probe and put it on 12 volts and my ground and I'm looking at a reading of 12 and a half volts. So that's my first reading. So this is the second reading that I'm going to take and it shows the uh, circuit. You can see down here I have uh, a display board. That's the display board and here is the on and off button and uh, I need power to come to this on and off button. So that power comes from this P1 connector on the power board. So I have the display board here and I have a power board on this circuit. Just on the, this circuit that I'm showing you. There's the power board, okay? So the, uh, the power is running from this P1-6 connector and it follows this route and goes up to the on off button. So that's where my power is coming from. Uh, this P1 connector has a ground here. Uh, it's the P1-1 connection. So I'm going to put my black negative uh, probe on my multimeter to that, that connection there and my red one or my positive will go to green. And that will tell me whether or not I actually have power at this connector. Um, I'll have to check continuity for the wire that runs up to the on off button. But for now, I'm just seeing that the power is, has run uh, to the board and is available through this connector to run up to the display. So my next reading is on the white, yellow and uh, green. The yellow and green wire goes into the P1-1 uh, connection and the green wire goes in to the number six connection. So there's the, uh, there's the connection. And you can see that I've got just about 12 and a half volts on there. Okay, so those are all the, uh, the measurements that I need to take for the power board. And um, the next set of measurements are, for, are taken at the optical control board or at the display on the front of the refrigerator. So we're done with this power board display. Um, but I just wanna give you a close up to show you. This up here is the P2 connector up here. This big one here with 10 connections is the P1 connector. There's my power connections fuse and uh, over here is my 110 volt AC uh, connection. So those were the ones that we are were concerned with with regard to uh, taking measurements to see if the power control board is sending power to the uh, to the display 
and the, in our case we got 12 and a half volts on our readings and we have a workable fuse so the power board is not the it would not be the issue if we were getting zero volts on any of our measurements that we took uh, we would realize that we had a problem say uh, with the uh, power coming into the board or a power uh, power issue at the p1 connector but we don't have issues there uh, from our readings, so we're good to go. We can move to the optical control display. So there's the uh, uh, optical control board, uh, display board uh, inside there, that green piece. And that's the next piece that needs to be tested. Um, so what we've done so far is we've tested the, uh, the incoming power to the refrigerator. That's distributed from the power board, which is what we've already reviewed in this video. It's in the back side of the refrigerator. So power comes, like battery power, 12 volt DC, comes up to the uh, power board, goes in uh, to the input of the power, as input to the power board. And then we check all the different connectors to make sure that the, uh, the power board itself is working in order to distribute or send up through this cable assembly power to this optical control board so there's two places where this th this refrigerator can be giving you trouble one is at the uh one is at the uh, power control board and if everything tests out working like it did for us in fact because my power board is working the next step would be to come up and test this optical control board now i'm going to do that <clears throat> in a separate video